Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our virtual noonday service here at St. Martin's. We're so glad that you have tuned in. Our service begins in the Book of Common Prayer on page 103. Let's turn our hearts and our minds now to the worship of God. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson for today comes from Psalm 119, verses 105 through 112, which can be found on page 103. Let us say this in unison together. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes for every and to the end. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our next lesson comes from the Gospel according to St. Luke, beginning chapter 5, verses 17 through 20. One day, while he was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting nearby. They had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with them to heal. Just then, some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a bed. They were trying to bring him in and lay him before Jesus. But finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and let him down with his mat through the tiles into the middle of the crowd in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In today's gospel lesson, uh, we hear that, that powerful and moving story about a group of men who, who carry their paralyzed friend on a mat to Jesus, hoping that, that Jesus can somehow heal him. But when they get there, uh, there are so many people uh, to, there to see Jesus that they're blocking the entrance. They can't gain access to Jesus. So the men get real creative. They take their, their friend and they put him on his mat and they lift him up onto the roof and then lower him down in the middle of the room and he sits right there directly in front of Jesus. And Jesus eventually turns to the man and says, get up, take your mat and go home. And immediately the, the man stands up, he takes this mat that he's been lying on for years, and he goes home, praising God. Now we all have a mat. Maybe our mats don't look like a physical illness, like the, the man in today's gospel lesson. Maybe our mats take the form of anger, doubt, resentment, guilt, fear, or, or even pride. But we all have a mat, don't we? And unfortunately, when we listen to the voices of this world, sometimes we can believe that we are stuck on these mats forever. But that's simply not the case. Like that paralyzed man, there are always people available to help us, to, to carry our mats if we will let them. All we have to do is ask for help. And that's one of the, the beautiful things about the church, which as we know is, is not this, this gorgeous um, building that we gather in or used to gather in on a consistent basis with um, beautiful stained glass windows, 
But the church is the gathering of believers, either in person or virtually, like we're doing this now. We are the body of Christ. Every once in a while, I'll have a conversation with someone who has become really, uh, really discouraged because they feel like their faith um, is wavering. And I always remind them, first of all, that doubt is not the opposite of faith. Certainty is the opposite of faith. But secondly, and more importantly, I remind them when, when their faith begins to waver, that is the time they need to turn to their brothers and sisters in Christ and lean on them for support. Because when their faith is weak, then their friend's faith is strong. But when their friend's faith is weak, then their faith will be strong. So they're there to support each other. We are here to support each other as the church. So during these unusual, strange, and challenging times, may God give us the grace to remember that we're never alone. Not only is God with us every step of the way, guarding us and guiding us, but God has given us a community, a community of people to carry us when we just can't do it alone. Amen. Service continues in the Book of Common Prayer with Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Together, let us pray. Grant us, Lord not to be anxious about earthly things, but to love things heavenly. And even now, while we are placed among things that are passing away, to hold fast to those that shall endure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The prayers of the people are found on page 387 in the Book of Common Prayer. We're going to use Form 3. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church, that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve thee, that thy name may be glorified by all people. We pray for our Anglican Communion, for the Archbishop Bishop of Canterbury, Justin, for our presiding Bishop Michael, for our bishops, Andy, Jeff, Kay, and Hector, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of thy word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do thy will in all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in thy sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise thee for thy saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in thy heavenly kingdom. This time, I invite your own prayers and intercessions. Now, let me offer you God's blessing. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.